MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day soul. So enjoy and thanks for watching. <laughs> we work on your Mustang, sell your Mustang, restore your Mustang, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. 1969 Mustang Coop F Code Project. Security system right here. Here he is. Arr. Act vicious. Act vicious. Vicious. Arr. Okay. Well, you get out of here. Out. Out. Bye bye. Out. 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 All right. So what we're doing is we're adjusting the back brake drums. Uh, well, basically, there's a little um, piece in there that's like a little notch, and you can put your screwdriver in it and you work it, and basically you keep turning your tires. And you can feel when the pads are about to touch, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to expand the brake pads a little bit to be closer to the drums, so we'll have less foot movement. The front brakes, the front discs, are self-adjusting; they'll adjust to it. But the drum brakes are not self-adjusting. You got to do it this way manually. It's old school because you know. <laughs> I love working out of my house, but I don't think it's going to happen much longer. Oh, and I'm looking at a commercial location tomorrow with two buildings, so pretty exciting. All right, so you see that little slot right there? That little slot usually has a rubber cap. And you can see we put it in neutral so we can move the tire on Joe's car. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to get in there with a screwdriver and I'm going to basically feel around for a small notch and I can feel it right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pry it up or down for that matter. i got to get a feel for it. And I'm going to start to tighten up these brakes like that. And once we start hearing the pads start to touch the drums, you can do this enough that you can't move the tire. You can actually put, you can expand the brakes enough that it won't, it won't move. We're not going to do that. We're going to just move them until we actually hear the pads start to touch these drums. And then we're going to know that they're adjusted. We're going to do this on both right and left side. And uh, I'll show you the results right now. Listen, there's no sound, right? All I'm doing is moving the drive shaft around by turning the tire. She's in neutral right now. Here's Joe's new exhaust system. It's pretty nice. It looks like two and a half, maybe three inch pipes are pretty big over there. I like that. All right, so here we go. Adjusting the brakes. There's an extreme Mustang Medic close-up right there of the slot. How, how about that, guys? What do you think? You can actually see the thread, so it's obvious that what I want to do is I want to lengthen this so I am going to turn that little notch right there, this notch right here, this right there, and I'm going to turn it so it's rotating downward. So I'm going to pry up on her like this, like that. And I'm going to do this multiple times, not easy to do with the camera in hand, so I'm going to let the camera go, and that is going to adjust those brakes. There's, there's a great view of what it looks like inside your brake drum, and that's the adjuster for your rear brakes. So I rotated it. About three clicks, and now turn it, Carlos. You hear that? That's actually the brake pads just barely touching. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and we should be good to go. Now we just got to tackle getting her running, because she's not running right now, and then the valve covers, and then getting her over to the air conditioning shop. We have got to get her running, because they've got to have it running to test the car with the air conditioning after they do the work. This is the actual driver's side of the uh, the driver's side brake drum. This only took about two, maybe three clicks, almost the same amount of clicks. But now they're both giving resistance, so the pads are adjusted appropriately, and the front pad should adjust accordingly, and that should help cut down a little bit on the uh, distance of the pedal. So we'll see. We'll test it out. Our whole goal, as I said, is now to get her running. Thanks for watching, guys. Mustangmedic.com. This in from UGA Georgia Dog. You and Carlos make a great team. You both seem to genuinely love what you do. Why haven't you guys been picked up uh, for your own uh, Spike or Velocity TV show yet? Keep them coming on. We're pulling for you guys. Thank you so much. That is the plan. There is things that are in the works going on, and we will keep you guys posted. So appreciate uh, your kind thoughts, and uh, we enjoy doing it. You're right. Thanks. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon.
MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration.